Hello everyone, Indra here and today I'll show you how you can quickly create a camo pattern in Photoshop. First we'll create this basic pattern and at the end of the video I'll show you how you can quickly create unique variations on top of it, like this digital camo pattern. So let's get started. Open Photoshop and create a new document. Enter in width and height of 3000 pixels and a resolution of 72 pixels per inch. Click create and you'll have your blank canvas. We'll create multiple stacks of small object and apply different filters to it to get the desired camo pattern. To get a reference of the camo colors, you can explore Adobe color themes. You can open Adobe color themes by going to window, extensions and Adobe color themes. And once the panel loads, go to explore and type camo in the search bar. You can use these camo colors other creatives have created as an inspiration to your camo pattern. So let's start off by creating a new layer and let's rename it as stack1. Let's fill it with a background color which is white in my case. Hit control and backspace to fill the layer with white. Now right click on it and select convert to smart object. We'll be color coding the smart objects because we'll be creating three nesting of the smart objects and to get a track of everything, we'll use the color codes. So let's color code this as a valid. Now let's apply our first filter on top of it. Make sure your foreground and background colors are black and white. You can quickly reset your foreground and background colors by pressing D on the keyboard. Then go to filter, render, clouds. Then go to image, adjustments, threshold and apply a default value of 128 levels. Next, again right click on the layer and select convert to smart object. This time, let's color code it as green. Here, let's apply a Gaussian blur, go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur, and apply a Gaussian blur of 30 pixels. Next, we'll be applying motion blur on top of it. Go to filter, blur, motion blur, keep the angle to zero degrees and the distance to 500 pixels. Click OK. Next, go to image, adjustments, threshold, and apply a default threshold value of 128 levels. Now right click on this layer and select the blending options and here in this blend if section drag this white slider all the way to the left so that all the white pixels in this layer becomes transparent. Click OK. To quickly check if all the white pixels have turned to transparent areas we can simply hide the background layer and you can see that the white areas are now transparent. Again right click on the layer and select convert to smart object. Let's color code the final stack as red. Now we'll be duplicating our stack but do not just right click and duplicate because if you duplicate a smart object everything inside the smart object links to a single file. So if you make any change to any one of the smart objects the other smart objects will also get updated automatically. So to prevent that will create different smart objects with different references to the source files like this. Right click and select new smart object via copy. Remember this is very important for our pattern to work correctly. Once we select new smart object via copy, we have a different smart object. Let's rename it as stack2. Again right click here and create another duplicate by clicking new smart object via copy. Let's rename it as stack3. Now let's start adding our colors. I'll be adding a default camo pattern color, but you can experiment with any colors that you like. Let's select the background layer and create a new color fill adjustment layer. Click this new adjustment layer icon and select color fill and type in 2D2B29. Click OK. Next, select the stack layer and create another color fill layer on top of it. Go to new adjustment layer and select color fill. This time type in 4F4238, click OK. Do the same for the other stacks. Select it, create a new color fill. I'll be entering 5A5D3C. Let's add another color for the final stack. This time our color will be C3B38D. 
With that done, we'll be adding all the color fills as a clipping mask to the pattern below it. To do that, right click on the color fill layer and select create clipping mask. Do the same for the other color fill layers. And we're done with this part. Now as you can see our camo pattern has the same abstract shapes in all these three stacks. So you cannot actually see the variations. So let's spice things up. You can easily change these abstract shapes by going inside the smart object and changing what the filters rendered. Let's double click on the thumbnail of stack 1 to go inside the smart object. We'll again double click on the layer thumbnail to go to our first smart object. Here we have our clouds filter. Simply double click on it, click OK to change and re-render the clouds. Go to file, save. After saving your smart object, simply close it. You come back to the second smart object, do the same here, save it, close it. And as you can see, your first pattern, the abstract shapes in stack one has changed. We need to do the same for stack two. Double click to go one step below the smart object. Again double click it to go to the first smart object. Double click on the clouds to render a different form of the clouds filter. Go to file, save the smart object, close it, save its parent smart object. And once we close it, we have our camo pattern done. It's that simple. You can also quickly change the color of this camo pattern by adding a gradient map on top of everything. Select the topmost color fill layer and go to new adjustment layers. Select gradient map. From here, change the color, change the dark color stuff to something in the shade of dark blue. And change the light color stuff to something in the shade of yellow. So like this, you can also change your camo pattern by adding different color layers on top of it. Now let's add a cloth texture on top of it. I've downloaded this cloth texture from Pixabay. You can find the link in the description section below. The texture is small, so I'll be copying and duplicating it to fill the entire canvas quickly. But before that, I'll be rasterizing the layer. Right click and select rasterize layer. Then right click to duplicate the layer four times. Select the first texture, hold shift on keyboard and select the topmost texture. Then press Ctrl or Command E on the keyboard to merge all the layers. Then go to Image, Adjustments, Hue Saturation. Drag the saturation all the way to the left to desaturate the colors and then change the blending mode to overlay. We'll brighten up the texture a bit. Go to image, adjustments, brightness and contrast. Reduce the contrast to about minus 15 and increase the brightness to about 70. Now I'll show you how you can create unique variations of this camo pattern like the digital camo pattern that I was showing you earlier. Simply double click on any one of the stacks to go one step inside. Over here, let's add a mosaic filter. Go to filter, pixel it, mosaic. Add a cell size of 50 squares and click OK. Go to file, save and close your document. Do the same for the other stacks. Double click on the layer thumbnail. Go to filter, pixel it, mosaic. Add a mosaic of 50 cell squares. Save your smart object and close it. Let's do the same for the stack 3. Double click, go to filter. Mosaic should already be there because that was the last filter you applied. Just click it, click OK, go to file, save and close it. Now you have a unique digital camo variation of the original camo pattern that you created. You can find the link to the PSD file that we created right now in the description section below. Please let me know in the comments section if you would like to see more cool tips and tricks like this one. I hope you like this video. Please like, share and subscribe to support my channel. I'll see you in the next one. Until then, stay creative.